How's it going guys? So uh, yeah, we're making some progress on the handbrake bracket today. I've just gone and bought some easy to bend uh, steel. It sort of just made a rough sort of template. You can see a little bit of slack here. No binding, that's moving fine. That has some play to it. Right up to there. I couldn't push that if I wanted to. That is solidly locked on. Absolutely no play. That's nice and tight, nice and tight. That's gonna work. Handbrake. Alrighty, so I've just gone and dropped off the um, final iteration of my handbrake bracket to get fabricated. It's gonna be about two weeks, so we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, I've got some other stuff to work on, like finishing my airbox, which these guys also made. How's it going, guys? As I said just in the last clip, I'm gonna start working on my airbox. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and order some stuff to finish it up, which will leave just making the mounts once the actual box itself has been like fabricated to completion. So, what we need is, to begin with, this uh, rubber pinch weld. So this is gonna line the edges of the box part. That's gonna form the seal. Um, that's just gonna pinch around the actual like seam that I have in the box. And then I'm going to get some acrylic and some liquid nails to attach the acrylic to the lid. So this is the bulb shaped uh, pinch weld I was uh, showing you yesterday. I'll end up chopping it to about there. But yeah, as you can see, the lid still easily fits over. All right, so um, I've just basically measured from behind the transfer case to here, to about here, and then give it an extra 10 centimeters, marked out on the sheet, and cut off this part, which is gonna be the excess. And then, one, have a bit more room to work down here, and two, Start putting it up, I guess. I think that disc is small enough. It kind of came to my attention. I haven't really gone into my plans for the bash plate fully. So Aaron's coming over a bit later to help me sort of measure up what I need for the front plate. So I'm just going to kind of explain that to you. So this whole section down here, I'm going to try and make a face plate for. Um, I'll sort of bore out some air holes, you know, all around it. Um, license plate will mount sort of here. And then on this bit, I kind of just want like an overlap so I can mount more accessories without having to like weld more tabs to the bar. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to get it probably seam welded along here. Um, so the main thing I need to measure is whatever this, uh, whatever this angle here is, so I can actually get the bend made for that. Um, yeah, so I want to get it welded on, um, that way it's not moving around. And then I'll bed line, uh, I'll probably wrap the coat black the entire bar, which should look pretty schmick. I wish my back wasn't on stands at the moment because um, I got the front plate for my bash plate and that is going to look bloody awesome. How's it going guys? So today we're just going to be working more on the uh, front bash plate piece. So. I did kind of go ahead and start cutting it up to fit it last night, but ran out of light. So, just an alloy piece, three bends. Anyway, so you can see, I've just done some rough cuts, marked uh, just this, the rest of this that I need to cut off to see how flush it is. And then I can begin marking down along the edges of exactly what I want to cut off. I just went ahead, got my holes drilled out for mounting it up. Obviously, I haven't cut the wings back or anything. It's not sitting as sort of flush and everything as it will. Starting to shave down the sides. And um, yeah, it's starting to take shape kind of nicely. See how it fits. 
yeah so now you're starting to see more of like how it's gonna fit up that looks pretty friggin awesome i'm pretty happy with that actually now that some of this is out of the way it can kind of come in a bit closer it looks like so it's a bit of an awkward way of showing it but basically you can see how well it fits up um you can see it's a little bit raised off there didn't get the degree of that bend absolutely right so when i get it welded i'll get it welded like this and then if i ever use the um this bit i'll just use some spaces or something it's not the worst in the world but yeah because i would prefer to have this flush than that um, because it's still just a mounting plate so it doesn't really matter all that much if it lines up but yeah all right so i um took the liberty of getting my license plate mounted onto the front plate and um, drawing the markings for the bash plate cut. These center lines are where the bends will sort of be. So this will be a flat section, this will be a bent section, this will be a bent section, this will be a flat section, and I kind of wanted to have a slight edge bend in on the sides, but um, we'll just sort of have to see about that. But yeah, so I'll probably cut this up the Sabo. As you can see, it's looking pretty good now. Nice sturdy 5mm thick steel. Um, probably do me for today. That was, that was a lot. Um, yeah, looking pretty good. Took the time to go ahead and cut up two more little clamps for the lid. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I've got one and two. And I was pretty happy with just one until I got the seal on. And now I decided I want two. So I've gone ahead and made almost identical in size and measurement and stuff, a little bit off, but doesn't really matter too much. So I've bought this um, 200 amp gas and gasless MIG welder, 0.8 mil flux core in there, all set up, but I found out it's a 15 amp, 240 volt plug, so I need to get a 15 amp to 10 amp Amphibian uh, adapter so I can plug it in and use it. I'll have to trim one back naturally, but yeah, I've just marked out the acrylic for the lid of my airbox, got some liquid nails down there, and yeah, I'm just uh, cutting it up quite painfully with a handsaw. Does a trick, I suppose. And there we have it. Liquid nails done. I'm still gonna get some black silicon sealant and just re-go over these corners. Yeah, I just don't want moisture getting in like the cracks and seams there. I didn't get a perfectly flush cut. Just gotta silicon it up and um, she'll be good to go. So I finally took my car for an alignment. As you can see, it's still a bit out. Howdy everyone. So uh, yeah, new tires. I'll explain that in a moment. First, I got an alignment. That's pretty exciting, except it kind of went bad because my front camber is cambering out and towing out on max down travel because the ball joint angle is cooked as fuck. So pretty much just confirms what everyone's been saying for ages. If you get a subframe drop and if you're over a certain height, uh, flip your camber arms. So I didn't really understand and quantify how it would 
affect the vehicle. It's a bit annoying because all that time, that like six to eight months it was parked there, I kept saying I was gonna do it to myself and then I kept justifying, no, it won't do anything because I didn't understand. The front's not the only thing that's out though because I forgot about my rear toe when I was doing everything else. So that can't adjust in any further and it's still towing out uh, eight mil on one side and four mil on the other. So I'm out 12 mil tow. So obviously that's gonna ruin my tires in the rear. And that explains why all my tires had to be replaced. So moving on to the tires now. Full size 235.75.15 spare on stock steel that I really need to repaint, but I'm way too lazy to paint. This is the all-terrain that replaced the cooked tire when I busted a strut in the first vlog. As you can see from the toe and from the non-alignment, like an idiot, this tire is pretty shit. It's a bit, I mean, it's a sight better than um, the muddies were, but they were, it's a lot newer. Anyway, moving on to that. These are the new ones. Really like them. They're uh, Dunlop SP Road Grippers. They are an all-terrain tire that look like a mud terrain. I got three of these because unfortunately they didn't have a fourth one and I was budgeting on these because I still want to go to 30 and uh, I still need to sort everything else out before I do that. So um, yeah, pretty awesome tread, big fan of these. So I have those on three corners, um, the two fronts and the back right and then on the back left, this is the one I hate. So it's a Terra Blue Streak. So I think we're going to finish it up with that one. Um, I still haven't finished everything, um, obviously the bash plate is all still in progress, same with the airbox and same with the handbrake bracket. I feel like I'm not getting through enough in my videos and they're also taking up too much time. Let me know what you think, I don't know, I just want to hear you guys opinion because I really am not sure. If I can make them better, like more enjoyable, if more people want to watch them that's always ideal. So let me know if you like the shorter videos or if you want me to keep the style I've been doing. I could make things a lot more fast paced, but it would just involve filming things totally differently and um, you probably wouldn't get the same sort of like in-depth information I try and present as I do things so I can make things more punchy and entertaining and I can try and find a way to make them more informative if that's what you guys want, but it really does come down to what you guys want so let me know. That all said, look, we can finally wheel this thing, like we've done our testing phases, we haven't broken anything. And it's about to hit 300k actually. I think tomorrow I'll hit 300,000 kilometers. So stay tuned. We'll have another episode very, very soon. Probably by, I'm going to say Sunday. You're getting this video Sunday. So enjoy that. I'll see you then. And peace out.